We really? just don't know. And uh, I was out and about yesterday, actually, and, uh, you know, went to uh, the supermarket and it was uh, a very familiar scene. Uh, you know, no loo roll oh. available uh, and also no vegetables available uh, as well. Uh, you know, uh, so it seems that, you know, people are still out there yeah. panic buying. I wonder if it just Despite depends. supermarkets yesterday saying that they are that stocked they are up. Things, and as long as people are sensible about what they're buying, you know, we know there's a difficult situation in Dover at the moment that they're trying to resolve that. It's going to take a little while to sort out by the looks of things. Yeah. My husband went out yesterday, pleased to say he did get all the vegetables necessary. There were no problems with supplies for the supermarket that he went to. He came back with a massive bunch of Brussels sprouts. So I was kind of wishing he hadn't got quite as many. I thought, if, you know, if there's one thing that I'm, I'm not bothered about us having, it's Brussels sprouts. But somebody got a bit of a surprise with their Brussels sprout order. And it was someone who'd done it online and obviously wanted to get one bag of Brussels sprouts. And unfortunately... This is what they ended up with. James <laughs> Murden, please note, when ordering sprouts from Tesco Online, quantity one does not mean one bag of sprouts. It means one sprout. Which costs 3p, apparently. Which costs 3p. Thank you <laughs> and good night, he says. So I think, you know, always check your, um, your orders when it comes to the quantities from that yeah. point of view. I mean, Tesco apologised as well. Day, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> but some people might be seeing that as a blessing. You know, it yeah. depends whether you're into your Brussels sprouts or not, doesn't it, really? Well,